Now we get uh, suggestions from you, and then I will do comedy. I, I did not understand what that was. NRA. NRA, the National Rifle Association. The National Rifle Association. Very funny. Very funny. I can't think of a topic that could be funnier than gun violence or schools or, you know, kids and guns and the NRA. I've never shot a gun. I've never had, the only gun, the only gun that I love, which I would never want banned, is the sour cream gun at Taco Bell. Have you, have you seen that gun? It is a legitimate weapon. It's a gun. Have you seen it squirts? sour cream into a chalupa or gordita something like that that's the only gun that i would mar you know but i get the guns are good have guns you know i think some people should have them but others shouldn't how do you feel about that is that extreme okay this feels like a very success i feel like i'm running for city council in austin right now and it's very precarious. I don't really know. I feel like this is how people should run for president. People should just shout issues at them. NRA! Trans people in the f service! This is how it should work. Uh, NRA, you know, I, I would do a gig for the NRA, but I'll do a gig for anyone. You know what I mean? I don't, human traffickers, sign me up. I don't care. I need money, so. NRA, that's what I've got to see. What else, anybody else? Gravy train. Gravy train. These suggestions are so fucking high. Is everyone on DMT right now? Like these barely make any gravy train. A train full of gravy. I wish I knew where one was. I would take a gravy train if I could get on a train. Gravy is not something you should eat on a train. But I have. I have had Kentucky Fried Chicken where you are given gravy and I've put it on the mashed potatoes while on a train, this is true, from New York to Long Island. I don't mind getting in on a train, getting condiments, you know? Nothing wrong with that. I appreciate that. I li and I appreciate you guys. I like after every laugh if we can get very quiet. It helps me as a comedian get very, very quiet after every single laugh. I, I like to start at zero every time and just pull you guys out of yourselves. That's really gravy train. Okay, well that's my feelings on that. Uh, any, anyone else? Dads who coach their daughters in softball. This woman needs therapy. I don't think this is about a comedy show anymore. I think she's had some issues. Dads who coach their daughters in softball and embarrass them in front of their friends when their daughters are just trying and aren't lesbians but are just aggressive because women can be aggressive. And they don't have boyfriends for no reason. It's just because it's hard to date when you're committed to hockey as a female who doesn't eat pussy but just loves competition and hockey. And if my father would just know that, <sighs> that was my SNL audition. Uh, that was my monologue. That was my monologue for Saturday Night Live. It didn't work out, it did not work out, um, which is okay. But that was eerily, uh, that was very specific that this woman Dads who coach their daughters in softball. What do I give a fuck? Coach your kids. They're all losers. That's the truth. And I like, I used to watch that show Dance Moms, which was a great show, because I like seeing greatness demanded of children. I love that. I like seeing kids cry. I like seeing them have that moment before they go on where they get all nervous and they're like, it matters, this matters! I like seeing that. I like seeing kids splinter into different personalities at a young age. So I like child sports and I'm glad they don't pay them. I'm glad the college basketball people don't get paid. I think it's great. Good. You sh All right, so there's that. What else? 
Circumcision, you've yelled that five times. Circum circumcision. I mean, listen, I don't know. I mean, I'm circumcised, but thank you for that woo. I don't know. I might be happier without it. I don't, it's something that's, you know, I don't have any religious feeling on it. I don't know. I, I, it's a very, it's, I guess it's very personal. I think female circumcision I am for. <laughs> that, that I know. I am for that. I am for female. That's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about clitorectomies. That I am for. Um, but male circumcision. <laughs> Those of you who aren't laughing at that, are you, I feel like I'm way too convincing when I say that. It's fucking Austin, you can't relax. You're like, wait, what did he say? That's not right. All right, one more suggestion. Hot air okay, one guy said hot air balloons, and then somebody else, what did you say? Slip and slide. Slip and slide. Uh, let's go with that. Uh, and whoever said hot air balloons, kill yourself. The fucking old timey, dumb Austin suggestion is that. Hot air balloons! Make a joke! Make a joke about late stage capitalism with hot air balloons! Burn in hell. Um, uh, slip and slide. I was a fat kid. When you're a fat kid, nobody wants you to come to their home. This is reality. Nobody wants you to come to their home. They will be friends with you on, on a street somewhere, but they don't want you in their house. Here's what they also don't want you doing. Running and throwing your body on a wet piece of plastic and then hurling yourself into their backyard. That didn't happen for me. I would walk by a slip and slide and see it, it looked fun. But I was never invited. No one said, hey, Tim, why don't you come over here, get naked, and slide on this plastic. We got it all wet. Even pedophiles were like, no, 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 you keep walking. You better get a personality. Why don't you get a talent? I'm going to watch the rest of these kids. Imagine a pedophile watching a slip and slide, and then I just came on, and they were like, god damn it. The funny one's going to have a go at it. The personality. Did you like slip and slides? Is that why you're asking? You don't know why it popped in your brain? Well, what else is going on up there? Okay. Let's get Jeremiah back up. We'll do a few. Come on, give it up for Jeremiah. It's been a lot of fun. Austin's a great place, and I mean that in, in any as a joke. <laughs>